Hey everyone, I'm Aaron. That's my identical twin brother, Adam. Today is a special episode. We just did Mother's Day yesterday. We're jumping the gun a little bit on Memorial Day, remembering um, military members who have given their lives in service for our country. The reason why we're doing that a little bit early is we had some breaking news about a new um, a military, a Navy ship uh, that was just commissioned. And so we're gonna talk about that today in our trivia. And so we wanna take the opportunity to salute our uh, veterans and remember those who have fallen and um, and say thank you uh, for your service to our country. We're going to do more about that. We're going to talk about some players who have uh, served our country as well. So thank you and welcome to the baseball brouhaha. We're having a cup of coffee and we're getting right after it here. Adam, what's our trivia today? Yeah, before we dive in, cheers. To those of you who have served mm -hmm. and in, memor in uh, memory of those uh, who gave their life for our country and for our freedom, thank you very much. And um, here we go. Here's our question um, from 1940 to 1946. So during World War II time, which branch of the military had the most baseball players serve in it? And, you know, MLB effectively shut down for a while. Um, yep. So players could serve uh, their country. So that's our question. And this is inspired by this news that Aaron mentioned. The USS Cooperstown um, commissioned. Um, and it is known as America's away team mm -hmm. defending the U.S. Mm -hmm. on the road. Yeah, and they named it in honor of there are 70 Hall of Fame players um who served in the military obviously many 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 more um who served who are not in the hall of fame um but uh, a unique fun way to honor um both our military and the you kind know, of the baseball linkage uh with with uh service um uh, especially during world war ii i didn't realize this i mean it makes sense but i didn't it didn't really hit home that that there were three full years where Major League Baseball did not happen in the way that it did before and after. So that that was crazy. Yeah, it's amazing the number of players um, who went to fight for our country. Yeah. So here's our question going to that time. Which military branch had the most players from 40 to 46? Aaron, what do you got? Well, I went with the Army. In my mind, it's I always think of the Army as kind of being the largest um, group. I kind of lump Army and Navy in there together. Um, and so I thought maybe they would be close, but um, just given the nature of um, b being in ground combat, um, a lot of World War II was ground combat. I just sort of I went with the edge there with the Army. So that's, that's what I'm going with. And I went Air Force on this one for a couple reasons. One, I feel like I've heard of more players who like flew airplanes and mm -hmm. uh, maybe that's just because it was more glamorous or something. I don't know. Um, but then also I know that Air Force is a lot of times where they would put officers and, mm -hmm. um, you know, so maybe players were more likely, more likely to, be to be an officer, yeah. placed as an officer or something like that. Um, so that's what I went with. But let's check it out. Let's see where we're at. Um, Aaron leading off the week, getting a run in in the bottom of the first here. We're going to mm -hmm. take a look at the scoreboard in a minute. Army, 558 players in this time period. That's a lot. Navy was second at 483. Air Force, mm -hmm. 183. And the Marines at 71. And the Coast Guard, 52. And I just I just want to for clarification, um, the um, the source that put this put this information together. Check out their website, baseballinwartime.com. Uh, great information there, and they were very clear in just indicating that this was any baseball player across any level. So not just MLB, minor league, semi pro, um, even down to college and high school baseball. Anybody who was affected who played baseball. Um, so just to clarify that a little bit. Great. Still great stats. And here mm -hmm. we are at the scoreboard. Um, Aaron taking the early lead after the walk-off win last week. Yep. Coming right back. We're back. Scoring 
in the bottom of the first. Let's go. <laughs> We're moving on now. We're talking about some players who served. And our first on the list is Hugh Mulcahy. Here's a little montage of Mulcahy with uh, newspaper graphics, some autographed uh, memorabilia, including an autographed baseball card where his name is misspelled. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Uh, but he was the first regular MLB player to enlist for military duty during World War II. His nickname was Losing Pitcher, sadly. In nine seasons, he never won more games than he lost. Yeah, and this is not, not really a reflection on Hugh's ability to pitch. Um, he played on we, – we recently we'll, – we'll drop a link. Uh, we, we talked about some really bad Phillies teams – um, and he pitched for those. And sometimes you get on that team, you don't get a choice. You don't get a, I mean, unless you want to retire, it's not like you get to just see ya. Um, so he pitched um, in the mid to late thirties, despite losing 20 plus games in 1938 and 1940, he finished in the top 30 for MVP vo voting, <laughs> which just seems impossible. But there he was in 1940 in particular, he had a, Good season. He had a 3.6 ERA, a uh, very respectable ERA. The offense, the offense, folks, finished last in the National League in 12 of 14 offensive categories, and the other two, they were next to last. So what do you um, what do you do? If you're a pitcher and you don't get any offensive support, then you you get to be named losing pitcher, even though yes. it's not your fault. No, not your fault. <laughs> Well, moving on to a, a more well-known household name, Yogi Berra also served. He was in the thick of D-Day in 1990, 1944. <laughs> get our, our, our years correct here. In 1944, as part of a six-man rocket boat crew, um, firing machine guns and rockets at German defenses at Omaha Beach, um, which was the bloodiest landing on D-Day. I did so I didn't even I didn't realize that there were five separate landing beach landings on D-Day. That was something that I was unaware of. I don't I just never put that together. And he he happened to be on the bloodiest one. Um he was actually shot in the hand um and earned a purple heart for his um for his service. Um and then he had, as you may know, Hall of Famer had a very, very successful ma major league uh career which happened entirely after his service in World War II, uh, which is honestly, it's, it's quite remarkable um, that, you know, one that he survived through World War II, got shot in the hand, and then was able to have the, the stellar baseball career that he had. Yeah, Hall of Fame baseball player, baseball career with the Yankees. Yeah. You can see here on this little uh, picture montage, his... Uh, he was honored with a postage stamp. His rookie baseball card is there, and a couple of yogiisms, well known for some fun, funny, quirky yogiisms, including mm -hmm. "The game ain't over till it's over," <laughs> and ninety percent of the game is half mental. Yeah. So thanks, Yogi, for your contributions mm -hmm. and for fighting for our country. Indeed. And then finally on our list, we have Noah Song. Um, there are not many MLB players now who have served in the military. However, just this past offseason, in December 2022, the Phillies drafted pitcher Noah Song in the Rule 5 draft. Yeah, so I don't blame you if you haven't heard of Noah Song. He hasn't made an MLB debut. Um, but uh, he is active military as a Navy aviator. Um, the Phillies can hold hold him on um, a military list while he's on active duty and without tying up a 40-man roster spot. Any, for those of you who may not know, if you're drafting the Rule 5 draft, you have to hold that player on your 40-man roster spot. Uh, the Phillies don't have to do that given this situation. Boston or originally drafted him in the fourth round, but many scouts think that um, he would have gone much higher in the draft, um, uh, but because of his um, upcoming military active duty, um, a lot of teams pass on him because of that. 
Yeah, and you can see here in the infographic too, um, serving our country in uh, the Navy, serving our country on the USA baseball team, mm -hmm. and then serving specifically the city of Philadelphia, hopefully as their pitcher. So mm -hmm. thank you, Noah Song, for your service. Appreciate you. You know what time it is, folks. We want to take some story time here to say thanks to some people in in our lives and also all mm -hmm. those um, uh, who have served and many who were killed in action and many families who've been affected. Uh, we have some extended family who served in the military, mm -hmm. including our grand grandfather, Ted, our uncle Ben, um, and my uh, father-in-law and stepfather-in-law, uh, both who served in Vietnam. Yeah. We also have some friends of the show. Um, our buddy Mitch is on uh, active duty right now, serving currently, um, picks up shows whenever he can, when the when the reception is uh, good enough to pick up some shows. Uh, I just really appreciate, Mitch, uh, your service uh, to our country. Uh, additionally, some extended family for me, my father-in-law, Ralph, um, and track with me here, my brother-in-law's father-in-law brother-in-law anyway um chuck um chuck served as a navy pilot and fun fact uh, if you watch the movie the top gun movies uh the pilots in that um movie it's a little bit muddled whether they're navy or, or what branch they're in but that's the type of pilot that chuck uh, so a lot of fun stories listen to chuck his training and everything else um just really uh thankful for chuck and um I get to live close to him, which is super fun. Uh, great, great man. So thank you all for your service. Um, a special thanks to uh, Gary Bettingfield, uh, Baseball Reference, and um, uh, Matt Ritchie, I believe, is who we're, we're uh, shouting out here. Uh, a lot of folks pitching in on this particular show. But again, a special thanks to all of you who have served um, in our uh, armed forces thankful for you. We get to do fun, interesting, weird shows like this because of you, because of your service. So thank you all uh, for that. And thanks for everybody for joining us. If you have a burning question, comment below. Find us on Twitter at Base Brew Ha Ha and tweet at us there. Um, like and subscribe. We'll be back at it tomorrow for inning number two of this week's game. Thanks, everybody. See you then.